Hi guys, what's up? So this is a modeling tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to create Bender in Maya. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you the final result. It's gonna be something like this. And very important to search some reference like this. You just, you can just Google it. You can just Google Bender on Google and you'll find some, some image like, like this. So let's start. Uh, let's start with the head. So uh, in the polygon, bring a sphere. And uh, 20, 20 is maybe too much. So we can do 12 and 10 maybe yeah okay um let's hide the gr the grid and select the bottom of the sphere and just delete it okay we double click select all of these edges and extrude edges press W and OK, something like this. So now we have the base of the head. If you press 3, you can see the final result. OK. So, uh, we could create now the mouth, so insert edge loop tool, uh, okay, something like here, here, and one like this, so it's perfect in the middle, and now select one maybe this one and this one go on the top view and just move them back okay so now we have to select th those polygons and extrude something like this and then extrude again pressing G we extrude inside okay now with those polygons selected go to mesh extract so now we have two different meshes just increase this maybe just uh, modify center pivot okay maybe we could we can do another edge loop tool here okay I think it's it's fine okay now this the eyes uh, let's start with the box increase the size of the box okay something like this okay 
now we can start to add some details uh, we can do an extrusion here okay maybe two divisions and press G so we can extrude again okay till here okay now another edge loop tool maybe we can three like this and one one horizontally yeah and pressing B we can have the soft selection okay so we can do something like this a bit more maybe okay so now if we press 3 it's gonna be like this almost almost we're almost there okay let's do again the, the, the loop tool and extrude again and now grow selection and again extract okay so we have this and this nice another agile tool here and here another here okay I, th I think we are just fine with the eyes yep maybe it's too big And we can just use this with another with another material just just black because here is is everything black okay let's create the the antenna first of all just delete those those edges so we don't have triangles delete face and extrude okay press G and G again okay so we have something like this G again okay so we have the antenna let's finish the antenna with a sphere and now by pressing D and V let's move the pivot there and now pressing V let's snap the pivot here now it's perfect, perfectly centered 
increase a little bit maybe we can also delete those faces yeah we don't need to see them so just delete them and let's move here okay here we are no not yet insert some some module tool here Okay, I, I think we are we are done with the head. Maybe just something wrong here. Nice. Okay, so now we just need to create uh, the body with a cylinder. Oh, actually, I forgot to create the eyes, but yeah, it's not a big deal. Just create a sphere and assign a new material, number four. And we can assign, yeah, this material to this guy too. Yeah, he was already white, but never mind. <coughs> Now select those faces and delete them. Yeah, nice and clean. And now extrude W. Okay, just increase front view. Okay, I guess it's fine. Control D to duplicate and Okay. We have this we have the two eyes. I think we can increase more the size. Okay, so let's start with the body. Mm -hmm. Okay, something like this. And just add the segment here and increase the size of the segment. So now we have more this shape. We kind of have this shape. No, actually no, because because of this. Okay, now we have more. It's more similar to Bender now. Okay, let's start to add some loop tools. If you if we press T is not going to be okay. It's not going to be all right. So we need to do some stuff. Add some some edges. What we can do here, maybe we can just bevel Oh, 
okay now if you press 3 is kind of better yeah it's better than before and add again an edge loop tool to give some softness okay fine I think it's a bit small Okay, so now what we need to do is uh, to create uh, this uh, kind of door or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, with the torso selected, go to the loop tools and start adding some some edges like this. No. One more here and one more here and with faces selected start to select some of those polygons make sure that nothing else is selected ok and now mesh extract so now again we have uh, two kind of two different geometry two, two different mesh two different mesh Okay, for now we can hide we can hide this one with Ctrl H. So with this one selected, um, we can do an extrusion inside, not too much, just to give some depth. And with multiple edges slopes, three. Okay, now if we press 3, it's gonna be like this, like very clean, round, and uh, where is the door? Yeah, here. So let's do the same thing. Give him some depth and do the edge things. Same thing here. So yeah, fine. So we have it. 